example of Amazon, if you order something on Amazon, you're ordering some widget or whatever, it's taxable and it's going to be delivered to the same address. But if, you know, they're ordering from different vendors and so shipment's going to occur separately, it'd still be just one delivery fee. Cents. So by it's Correct. by invoice, not by package. Correct. And, so, and and marketplace facilitators, to your point, Tram, are subject to it as well. Yeah, so we'll we'll and, start seeing this in our Amazon orders. Correct. And so something that's that we're trying to figure out is really just from a fundamental imposition, like you know, just imposing it is how are people going to get it on their invoices? Right now, if you do manual invoicing like we do, not that hard. But if you operate a shopping cart, say through mm -hmm. Shopify, mm -hmm. and they, you know, there's got to be, you know, in theory, code written that says, oh, okay, well, if there's Colorado sales tax on it, then that means it's a taxable good, which means the fee applies. But, and is it being delivered to Colorado? So just, Fundamentally, how are you going to show it? Because the the rule says it has to be separately stated and it has to appear on an invoice. Is it going to be remitted to with sales tax? And so the DOR, no, sort of. Separate return. <laughs> Separate return. So right. if you are a sales mm. tax registrant, the DOR is automatically going to give you a delivery fee license but it is a separate return that needs to be filed through Revenue Online based on the frequency in which you're filing your sales tax return. So pro tip to all of those listening who are using a third-party sales tax provider, uh, sales tax engine, you may need to take the affirmative step to log in and set up in your filing calendar this additional return. Well, and I'm not sure if like the kind of third party systems that also do the collection are going to have this in their filing calendars. I believe there are some of them who are going to have reports available for what was collected, like that you can see that, but I don't know who's going to remit it because, you know, the Ohio cat return isn't a commonly filed, you know, return or it most of the software vendors who also have sales tax groups to do the returns don't do the ohio cat return when a lot of that information is piggybacked off of what you collect for sales tax so yeah. because it's a fee who knows whether who's gonna prepare it um, i've heard from the big ones that they can they, that they can file this but i i haven't surveyed any of the kind of the the, the medium the smaller yeah. providers. Well, and it right. is something that specifically needs to be mapped as if you're selling, you know, any other good, you've got to map it specifically, you know, pick it a tax code, you know, that's assigned to your tax software. Um, but also what's interesting is that the Colorado home rules have taken a position, some of them, that this is actually part of included in your sales price of that good, which is then subject to home rule tax. Right. So, so it's are a tax they changing the their mm -hmm. they're Basically, changing yep. they're changing their like muni codes to say this, or are they just taking a policy position? It's it's just part of the sales price definition. No, I don't uniform. I don't think it's been yeah, it's not I don't think it's hit the ordinances yet, but I, I think it's okay. a it's a yeah. Um, a departmental home rule departmental position yeah right and we have 71 home rules so and it's not uniform yeah